When the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only light you'll see No, I won't be afraid No, I won't As you stand, stand by me. Hi, welcome back to another One Chart Lesson. Today we're doing the, the pop equivalent of a jazz standard, which is like a song that's so well known that everybody's done versions of it. There are lots of lessons out there. I'm going to take you through a few different ways to play this because there are lessons showing it in the original key and there are lessons showing it with a capo and there are other ways to play it. There's also an iconic bass line that's really fun, like you just heard, to include in the chords. And there's also a solo in the middle. It's kind of an orchestral solo or a string section solo, but it's, it's a really nice thing to play as well. So I'm going to show you how to include that in your version as well, if you like. So there are several spots in here along the video that you can jump into. It'll all be marked out in chapters so you can take your pick. But the... Original key is in A, which makes these chords, and, it, and the song is a four chord progression, so it's the same four chords over and over and over again. The chords are A, F sharp minor, D, and E. And it just cycles through those four chords over and over and over again. So you can play this song using those original chords. And you can also add part of the bass line to these four chords, and I'll show you how. So if you if you play, and I'm going to show you how to do this strumming as well, just very briefly. The basic strumming that's closest to the original is this kind of strumming. Which is just short strum, kind of muffled, muted which you do with this part of your hand on the very end of the strings next to your bridge. If you don't know how to palm mute, there's a video for that on my channel. I'll put a link below for it. But it's a short strum, then a longer strum. And in between those, you can put in a little tap or a slap or whatever you want to call it. So you're kind of strumming on the one, and then you're one, two, and. One and two, and. So put a little slap in if you want. That's pretty much the the song, the, the original kind of feel to the song. It's the easiest way to strum it. You can also do a kind of a standard sort of strum going down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. We'll leave off the last up strum. Down, down, up, up, down. That's also a perfectly acceptable and nice flowing, more of a folky strum that you can do to that song. So, how do you put the bass line in for that? You can put most of the bass line in. And there are lessons out there that show you how to do that. But the limitation here is that you can't put the entire bass line in. And I'm gonna show you how to do that a little bit further along in the video. But with this, if you wanna put as much of the bass line in as you can, you get that first And you go from the E string to the 4th fret E string, back to the A, right? So that's... Then you can go down to the F sharp the same way the bass does, using the same A string, 4th fret E string, and then land on the F sharp minor. Now the F sharp minor is not for everyone, but it's a bar chord, and as far as bar chords go, it's not a particularly hard one. So it's a good way to start your bar chords if you haven't dived into that world yet. Then the bass just goes down on that one note down to the open E and back to the F sharp minor. Then we go down to a D but the way we do it with the bass line is we go okay so F sharp second fret E string down to the open E 
and then you go to the D chord. Now, if you're strumming that, you've got to make sure that when you move from that open E string, you miss the E and the A now to get to that D chord cleanly. You want to make sure that the D string is the lowest note you hear in that D chord when you hit it. From there, open D, fourth fret D, and back to an E, which is the second fret D. It's an E note. You could also play that low one, but if you went straight down to the E, it would sound a bit disjointed. So go open D, fourth fret D, second fret D, and on the very next time you play that note, the chord, play the full E chord and, and land on that bottom E string. So it's... And then it's back to the start. If you want easier chords, if you don't want to deal with the bass line or if you don't want to deal with the F-sharp minor bar chord, staying in the original key, you can put your capo on the second fret, which is what a lot of lessons online show you how to do, and it's a perfectly acceptable thing to do. You can put your capo on the second fret, and now your chords become G, E minor, C, and D. What it takes away however is the ability to play that bass line because you can go it doesn't quite sound the same and then when you go down you can't get down to that lower note because your capo stops you so that's a little bit tricky so for this version if you're playing it with the capo on the second fret and you're playing all easy open chords G E minor C, D, then you're not doing the bass. And that's fine. If you want to just go. Now, apart from being a really popular way to play this and very easy way, I've also seen one of the best versions of this song out there played by Tracy Chapman live on David Letterman show. I think it's about 2015 or something like that, but she doesn't use a capo. She plays it a whole step down. So she plays those chords, G, E minor, C, D, but she plays it on an electric guitar. It's a beautiful, beautiful, simple, elegant version. And she sings like an angel, of course, but she just plays G, E minor, C, D, and she strums kind of eighth notes. She just sort of goes, It's, and it sounds awesome. No bass line, nothing else fancy about it. It's just the straight up chords and her singing, which is enough. But putting it on the capo, putting the capo on the second fret rather, gets you back to the original key. Now, there's another way to play it, which is sort of my preferred way because what it does is it frees up this bass line to sound as close to the original as possible. And that is using these chords, C, a minor, F, G. All right, so you go, when the night has come and the land is dark and the moon is the only light you'll see. What that does, and of course you can put a capo on that and use these chords anywhere. And what that does is that lets you play this bass line, right? advantage to playing these chords for this song is that in the middle section the solo section 
There's a lovely string section break that goes You can play that on the guitar really easily based around these chords because it starts on this C which is the first fret of your B string and you can continue to play the C chord around that and just sort of emphasize those top strings and go and then land on the A minor. So what that is is starting on the third fret B string and you, uh, third fret, starting on the first fret B string and you're including that open E string and you can include the open G string as well if you like. It doesn't matter because it's part of the C chord. Go up to three on the B string, slide up to five on the B string, back to three, back to one, open. Then you come down to the G string second fret, go two, zero, and then when you come back to the two is when you land on the A minor chord, so like this. Just lift off and on again for that second fret G string. Then when we go to the F chord, the strings go, which is just picking D, out of your F chord, you just pick D string, third fret, B string, first fret, G string, second fret. Pick the D string and slide it up, slide the whole chord up two frets because you're moving that F up to a G when you do that. And you play the exact same string pattern, D, B, G strings, back to C. So all in all that solo sounds like this. simple and it's really pretty and it's fun and easy to play once you understand that you're that you're moving through the chords and you're using the notes in those existing chords which is why it works with the C A minor F G chord pattern and of course to put it in the original key you kind of need to go up high you need to put your capo on the ninth fret so that opening chord your C now has its root note on the 12th fret of the A string which is an, an A and that makes that an A chord. So you're playing it up there. A lot of people don't like playing up that high with a capo, but it does give the guitar an interesting sound. Like I said, that's not for everyone you don't need to play it in the original key unless you're actually, unless it suits your voice better than any other key or unless you're trying to play along with the original song. So there it is. There's a few different ways of playing that. I hope it was um, helpful rather than confusing. Like I said, I'll try and mark it out with the chapters so you can, you know, just pick and choose your own journey there. But it's a song everyone should know and it's dead easy uh, and it can be really, really beautiful. So, um, Thanks for watching and we'll see you here again soon. One thing I will mention is that I've played this entire lesson, I think, strumming, but you can play this finger style really, really simply and easily by doing this. Right, so you're, and I'll stick to these C chords. If you pick the A string with your thumb and your D, G and B strings with your three fingers, Because you're only strumming kind of a, a number of strings, it's easy to mute those strings and make it short, like that. Let your fingers fall back onto the strings straight away, and that's how you cut that chord short. And the slap is just coming back down onto the strings with all those fingers on the right strings. You'll get, you'll get better and more accurate at that as you go if you practice this. And that way, once you slap down on the strings again, all you've got to do is kind of pinch them and pull off the strings. And your thumb can play that bass line. Reach your pinky across there. Or 
always better to play an F bar chord here because it follows that bass line and lets your bass go right down to the F like it should, following the actual bass line. So absolutely do it finger style if you want to. That's really the end of the video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.